Hello YouTube, Ulrich Zebulon here with Zebulon Aerospace with another informative episode of Advanced Kerbal Construction. In this particular episode, we will go over here and I created my EVE Rover 4. And uh, my problem is I want to make this my attachment node to fit under my EVE lander. And uh, as you guys well know, let's go ahead and new this. Uh, as you guys well know, you can take a radial attachment point, grab it, flip it over, but you cannot, within the game that I'm aware of, attach this in a normal manner to create the rover. So to make this simple, to figure this out, what I did do is I started with, uh, let's see here, test, um, test 10, or actually test three, I did both. Okay, so anyway, I created this. And I started with the radial, or I started with this part here, and you'll notice that take comes off, that comes off. So I started with this part, added this one, then added the drone, the uh, cockpit, and the back uh, adapter part. I went and saved it. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. Okay, so what I ended up doing is we happen to have our test uh, three craft right here. And I'm going to open this with G-Edit. And I went and fixed some of the problems with it to make this whole thing work. And what we're wanting to do is we want to fix our EVE rover. Uh, I need to create another window here. Um, new window. And we're going to open up our EVE rover. Open that up in here. And so, this is what we got. What we want to do is we want to turn the EVE rover into what we know here that works. And so, first off, we have some extra parts on here, so you're going to have to bear with me. I also made it a cheat sheet. Uh, these are all the things we need to do to the different parts. And I'm going to pull that off to the side here. Uh, first thing we got to do is we need to start moving parts around. Uh, what I want to do is right now we have our cockpit on top. We want the uh, first thing we want on here is our stack point. Now in this particular case, because of how I built this, the stack point's way down on this list. Too far down on this list. Engineering chip should be, there we go, it's by the strut connectors. And sensor, oh, gravity sensor, nope. Did I just pass it? When you get into these larger craft, it's really hard to find these things, so uh, it gets complicated. We're going to go ahead and cut that and get rid of the extra line. It's absolutely not necessary, but I like to clean things up as I go. And we're going to move to the top of the list, and I'm going to go ahead and paste. So that gets that part in the right order. Uh, enter, enter. Uh, the next part we want in line is the fuselage, so we've got to find that. So it should be uh, cockpit, and in the order I built this, we go through the cockpit. The drone module should be next, which it is, there's the drone module, and here is the fuselage. And so we're going to, oh. No, 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 no. Right there. Okay. And here we go. All right. We're going to cut that out of there. And we're going to make that our next part. Zooming up to the top. And paste. So now we have our fuselage, we have our stack point, our fuselage, 
And the last part we need to get in here is our drone, which is going to be the next one after the cockpit. And once again, this is one of those ones where you got to be patient. Uh, and ideally, I should have started this with the um, with the fuel tank and worked out, but I didn't because I wasn't thinking about. Oh, 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 oh! Right there. Okay, we're gonna I'll go ahead and cut that. Uh, and cycle through all of this. Okay, come on, where are you? Where are you? A lot of stuff in the cockpit. All right, paste. Okay, now next, we gotta start fixing stuff. Uh, first thing we got is uh, we have a uh, surface, it's a uh, mount uh, node, it's supposed to attach to the fuselage. We need to reverse that. So what I like to do is just do that, gets rid of the uh, line, and what we need to do is we need to have this as the link. Now if you remember, the link is where this is the root part, and the link is the next part that attaches to it. So we get that in there, and we also need to have the fuselage uh, part number, and uh, which is the next one down, so we need to get this one here. Copy. Paste. So now our stack point is uh, now in the correct uh, bit. Now we need to go to the fuselage. And in here, you will notice that the, there is a link to the stack point. And in here, we need to get that link out of there. So the stack point link, we are going to uh, cancel that line. And do I need to add anything else on this? Um, I need to do the uh, this here. I need to turn it into an A attachment node. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, copy this. And add another line up above. And paste and then once again we need to get the number but it just so happens to be right below here so we're going to copy that and paste we need to be a link to the drone copy paste and we need to be a link to the adapter, which we are. So let's back that up. We are a link to the space plane adapter, which is this right here, right? Yeah, we're a link to that. So that's all good. We just need to do it for the drone core. So we need to go ahead and copy this and paste this here. Now we're good. You can leave the, uh, the uh, attachment nodes on because for some reason it wants to look at the loop of how it works. Um, anyway, this is what will work. So now let's go down to the drone module. And once again, uh, we, are, we are now linked to the fuselage, which we don't want, so we need to cancel that line. And instead, we need to be an attachment node to the fuselage, which we are. And we got the attachment node to the cockpit, but we need to be a link to the cockpit. So what we got to do, I like to make these so they're 
Mm. So we need to be a link to the cockpit. Copy. Paste. And then we need to get the cockpit number. Okay, so that should be good. And what makes this confusing is we have all these other things. I got an engineering ch uh, chip and other stuff. And when you got a lot of stuff to attach to a thing, it can really make this difficult. Um, so we got two links, one to the engineering chip, uh, one to the cockpit, and that's it. Okay, so we're done with this one. Now we need to go down to the cockpit. Oh, that's the, um, where did the cockpit go? Did I pass it? I must have passed it. Or did I not move it? Oh, there's the cockpit. I went right past it. Silly me. Like I say, it's really easy to get lost in here. There's a lot of lines uh, as you, well, you can see on there. Um, now on here, we don't want to be a link to the drone module because it's not the root. The drone module is linking to the uh, cockpit. So we do that and we save that and that should be it. So let's go ahead and save this and once again you can go ahead and put no description and type none on there if you want, which is how they say, but I'm going to show you that this will actually work without doing that. So now let's get all of this out of the way. Let's go back into our hangar. And I'm just going to get a dummy part here to start off with and we go in and we get our EVE rover and look! We now can attach to the bottom of our ship and that's what it works and so what's going to happen here is the end result of all of this don't save and I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of something I've been working on here this here is my EVE lander return vehicle and my rover fits in here just like that and to make this work I didn't do my action groups but you'll get the idea for the actual flight we tuck our wheels in this is the gist of the craft that I'm making and you can see how uh, this will tuck right on in. I just got to extend the legs out a bit so they, uh, they clear the uh, unit. So I obviously have a little bit more to do to make this mission work, but you get the idea. We can now have our rover and attach it underneath stuff where we couldn't do this before. I hope this helps you guys out. And remember, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. So have a great day. Bye.